Hi, and welcome to a special edition of the King James Bible Code video series. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the number of words in the English King James Bible using the Greek word logos or logos. Some of you may recognize that uh, word as uh, some high end Bible software that has the name logos and it's uh, quite pricey and it's probably the premier Bible um, software out there but if you want some free Bible software and software that's necessary to analyze and understand the King James Bible code you could download the pure Bible search software from purebiblesearch.com and here is the last word that's found in the King James Bible. It's the word Amen. And here's the Pure Bible Search software, a screenshot of it. And you can see that the word Amen, um, case sensitive, occurs 77 times in the King James Bible. And 77 is 7 times 11. Of course, uh, 7 being a number of uh, completion, right? Uh, sanct uh, sanctified uh, number, you know, I, God blessed and sanctified the seventh day, okay, completed the act of the creation, he rested, but seven times eleven, I want to just um, point out the number eleven, the, the phrase Jesus Christ contains eleven letters, all right, so the, your first thought when you see the number eleven, you should think Jesus Christ, and if you want to say, well, what about the book of Daniel, and the little horn, he's the 11th horn. Well, guess what? He's a Jesus Christ imposter, right? That's what that's telling you. So, okay, here we are. Amen. Final word of the King James Bible. Now, if you just select that word using the King James Bible search uh, software, and if you're using Windows, you hit Control D. Or if you're using uh, Mac, you, you hit Command D. A window will pop up, and it'll give you a verse count, chapter count, word count, can give you some stats on that word and you can see here that that final word of the Bible is the 790,663rd word in the King James Bible. Now I need to uh, and that factors to 73 times 10,831. Okay 73 is a prime number. It is a star number in fact it's the fourth star number 10,831 is also a prime number okay and from this day forward refer to it as the King James Bible prime because that's what I've named it it is to me a significant prime and we'll see why here shortly now if you look at the King James, King James Pure Bible Search software I am using, it might be different than the one you download from King James uh, Pure Bible Search .com because the one you download there will have, not only will it have the New Testament, Old Testament superscriptions, but it also have the colophons. And those are found in the New Testament in Paul's epistles. You know, the, this letter was written, you know, uh, it's, it's the information that's given at the end of the epistle. Now, I do not believe that those are inspired for many reasons, but the superscriptions in the Psalms are another story. I believe those are inspired. So my King James Bible database does not include the colophons, and if you want to modify yours to not include the colophons, like uh, the d uh, database that I have, uh, email me. Or email Donna, um, who who a very intelligent woman, who uh, wrote the software for the King James Pure Bible Search software, and she will be she's always been gracious with me, and she will give you that database. But let's talk about the superscriptions in the Psalms. Okay, here's the first superscriptions that occur in the Psalms in Psalms three. Right, a Psalm of David when he fled from Absalom his son. Now, the total words that comprise the superscriptions in the Psalms is 1,034, which is 47 times 22. 
both of these numbers are significant. Um, the number 47 is definitely part of the King James Bible Code. I've, I've only touched on it briefly in this video series. And the number 22, many of you will recognize that the number 22 uh, is a number of Revelation. The book of Revelation has 22 chapters. So when we've seen that final word in the Bible, amen, it was in the 22nd chapter in the 21st verse of Revelation, um, the book of Revelation. So, as noted earlier, 790,663 words in the King James Bible, including the superscriptions in the Psalms, which is 73 times 10,831. So we're going to talk about the King James Bible prime. It is the 1,316th prime, which is the 47 times 4 times 7 prime number. Okay, the number 47, like I said, important number in the King James Bible. And here you see the pattern of 47, 47. And in fact, the phrase Jesus Christ using reverse English extended gematria is 1,316th, 47 times 28. And the phrase, Son of God, case sensitive, as you find referring to Jesus Christ, occurs exactly 47 times in 46 verses of the King James Bible. Now, many of you recognize the number 46. There's the DNA is packaged in the 46 uh, chromosomes, you know, 23 from your mom, 23 from your dad, you got 46, and that's where your DNA is packaged in. And look at Mark 1.1, 1, 1, one of my favorite verses of the Bible, and one of the first significant patterns I found was in Mark 1.1, 1, 1, and I have yet to make a video about that, but I will. And it states, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So, let's look at the word logos. Um, the word logos here is the Strong's definition of it. It's a lengthy definition. And I'll just read it real quick. Uh, it means word, saying, account, speech. Word, referring to Christ, a thing, a uh, of speech, a word uttered by a living voice embodies conception or idea, what some have said, a, or a word, the sayings of God, decree, a mandate, or order of the moral precepts given by God, Old Testament prophecy given by the prophets, what is declared, a thought, declaration, aphorism, a weighty saying, a dictum, a maxim, discourse, the act of speaking, speech, the faculty of speech, skill and practice in speaking, a kind or style of speaking, a continuous speaking discourse, instruction, doctrine, teaching, anything reported in speech, a narration, narrative, matter under discussion, things spoken of, affair, a matter in dispute, case, suit, at law, the thing spoken of, talked about, event, deed. It is used as respect to the mind alone, reason, the mental faculty of thinking, meditating, reasoning, calculating, account, regard, consideration, account, reckoning, score, account, i.e. answer or explanation in reference to judgment, relation, i.e. with whom as judge we stand in relation, reason, would, reason, cause, ground. And John denotes the essential word of God, Jesus Christ, the personal wisdom and power in union with God, his minister in creation and government of the universe, the cause of all the world's life, both physical and ethical, which for the procurement of man's salvation put on human nature in the person of Jesus, the Messiah, the second person in the Godhead, and shown forth conspicuously from his words and deeds, a Greek philosopher named Heraclitus first used the term Logos around 600 B.C., to designate the divine reason or plan which coordinates a changing universe. This word was well suited to John's purpose in John 1. And amen to that. And that was a mouthful. And the, the gematria or isopsophy value in the Greek of that word is 373. The 74th or 37 times 2 prime number. And of course the name Jesus 
has a value of 74 using just regular plain Jane, simple English gematria. That is to say, A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3, Z equals 26. You get the point, 74. 37 times 2, it's the 74th prime number. Now let's get to the King James Bible code here. It is a pattern found in the book of John. John 1.1. 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. You can see here that the count is 373. And let me um, talk about this pattern for a moment. Is that the King James Pure Bible Search software will not count um, the occurrence of a word twice. For instance, um, we already used the word Word in the first part where it says, in the beginning was the Word. So it's entered in. It's not going to count subsequent um, entries of that. The same thing with the phrase and the and the word God. So each one was already used. Um, the King James Bible code compensates for that. And it's a, uh, um, you don't have to overthink this thing, right? God put this pattern in the Bible. But you can see that the value in the book of John is 373. That's not a coincidence. So um, let's look at the number, the palindrome number. That means it's the same left to right as it is right to left. Okay, this idea of the first being last. Now look at it. The first letter is the last letter. Right? This is a saying in the Bible, and I don't think a lot of people understand quite the meaning. I mean, I don't totally get it, but the first will be last. And guess what? The first is last. This palindrome number. And if you look at this number, you can ascertain or derive the number 37 from it. You can see a 37 in there. You can also see the number 73. And these three numbers are the only numbers you can see in, in this uh, number 373. Now look at it from right to left, left to right you'll see that uh, these are the three numbers and it is these numbers we're going to use to to calculate the number of words in the King James Bible. Okay, step one, we're going to multiply 37 times 373 and we get the number 13,801. Okay, so we got to think about this palindrome number, reading it from uh, right to left and left to right, it's the same. Of course, that's not the case with the number 13,801, but we're going to read it from left to right. In other words, we're going to reverse that number, 10,831. If you remember earlier in this, in this video, that was what I had um, come to call the King James Prime. This is the 10,831 the 1,316th prime number, and of course Jesus Christ, using reverse English extended gematria, has a value of 1,316. So we've already used the number 37, and we've used the number 373, so the only thing left now is to use the number 73. We multiply 73 times 10,831, and we get the exact number of words in the King James Bible. And again, this is counting the superscriptions in the Psalms. If you say, well, those don't belong, well, it's easy to remember. Just take the number 47, right? The phrase Son of God occurs 47 times. Multiply it times the number 22, the number for Revelation, uh, the number of uh, letters in the Hebrew alphabet, you get 10, uh, 1,034 and just subtract that out and you'll get 789,629 which is the number of words in the English King James Bible not counting the superscriptions in the Psalms. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Thanks for watching.